All right, everybody, this is Ross. We're gonna do a little bit of maintenance on my young fig trees. And uh, this is something that I recommend for you guys as well, um, that you guys can do. First off, we're gonna come in here with um, a foliar spray. I have myself some Dynagro Protect and also Foliage Pro from Dynagro. It's a 939 altogether, applies a whole bunch of micronutrients also applies um, silica, which I really like. And what we could do as well is actually give them a little bit more of some lime at this time of the year, maybe some Epsom salts, uh, give them some more of that calcium, magnesium. They really like that. But what I'm gonna do is actually start spraying some of these guys to give them a little bit more fertilizer. I wanna do actually about two more sprays before I call it quits on this, uh, this season. Um, I'm going to let them grow for about another month and it's early August here. So around early September, I'm going to significantly stop the water on these trees and stopping that water is going to really help with lignifying them. So that way we can keep the growth that we, we grew because, uh, you know, on Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving here in my, my uh, location, we end up getting a very hard frost. It's very abrupt. Two years ago, Thanksgiving night, we had a, a 14 degree low, Thanksgiving night. Um, prior to that, we didn't really have much frost. So these trees can get zapped very quickly. And if you uh, are not careful with amount of, the amount of growth you have and how much lignification you have, you're not careful with the water, you're gonna regret it. Um, because you're going to spend all this time growing your figs and you're going to realize in the fall a lot of that growth is going to get wiped out. And I, I would personally rather for the overall health of the tree is just have better lignification um, from the beginning. I think that forms healthier trees because if your trees are taking some frost damage here and there um, on this younger, more tender growth, either the wood's going to die or potentially the wood could get damaged. If the wood gets damaged, then your tree is kind of just messed up. So you don't want to do that. And we want to be careful about that. So the food is going to be a nice little thing, a nice little boost to help them uh, grow for a little bit more. But in all honesty, a lot of this has to do with the, uh, the water. If we can cut the water back around September 1st, ideally you do this around August 1st. I should be doing this now. Um, they will stop growing, but I want them to put out about another month of growth, get to the size I want them to, get them as established as I can before it gets too cold out here, um, and then call it quits. So the fertilizer is going to happen. I'm going to spray all these guys down. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look very carefully at these trees. They're really a big clump, right? They're not spaced out very well. What I need to do for some of them is to select particular trunks, um, select the form I want, focus on the form, uh, because I have here as an example, I have a tree that doesn't necessarily have a main trunk yet. Some of these trees don't necessarily have that main trunk form. What I've been trying to do is get them to a certain height. As I mentioned in the video, we talked about training our young fig trees. We get them to a certain height, and then we actually top them. We do some pinching. That induced the fruits. I did that about a month ago, a month and a half ago. We induced the fruits. We're gonna get a taste of most of these varieties. We'll get to taste probably sometime around September. And then actually, they're gonna send out more growth because I'm gonna increase the water, increase the fertilizer, and they're gonna to continue to grow. And that's what they did. They continue to grow. So they're putting out now their scaffolds, not just that main trunk that we set themselves up with, but now they're putting out the scaffold. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna come in here with uh, my stake, and I'm gonna put the stake in, this, in the pot, um, select the trunk that I want, and I'm really just selecting the trunk I want based off of which one looks to me to be the most vigorous, the healthiest. Um, in general, just gonna be doing the best for me in the future. And I think it's this guy right here. It has some fruit buds on it, so that's a good sign. 
I am gonna pinch it right now, not necessarily to get fruits, although it will fruit for me, but I don't want it really to fruit, to be honest with you. I would rather pinch it because I want it to uh, actually form its scaffolds. So we've tied it up here to the stake. This is gonna be the main trunk. All this other lower growth down here, I'm gonna leave that for now. In the winter time, we come in here and we're gonna prune all that lower growth out. What I'm gonna do right now is actually take off the tip. You can see we remove that tip. It's gonna force it to fruit. It's gonna force it to branch out as we're gonna increase the water for another month. This will give me some scaffolds. And this will give me at least as established of a form as I can get going into next year. Again, this is a one-year-old tree. I just rooted this not even a year ago. It's been six months for some of these trees. They were sticks. So now I have them the size that I want. You could, I could have done it. I should have done it at a lower height, probably. Could have pinched off the tip then and could have had myself some scaffolds already. But we're gonna spend the time now. We're doing it here now. We got some time. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go around to all these trees and just say to myself, which one of these has the right form? If it doesn't have the right form, how can I correct that form? If we need to do some staking with some stakes, we will. I've got myself some green stretch tape here that just goes around the branches and, uh, and ties these guys up nice and neat. Doesn't harm the branches. And then of course, we're gonna do some feedings. We're gonna give them a little bit of water um, I will debate on the fact of giving them continual feedings throughout the season. Uh, I'm interested to see what happens if I do that. But without a doubt, we need to decrease the water significantly um, on these trees. So really a big important tip. Can't overlook that to get this lignification process right. We'll see you guys soon. I hope that you enjoyed this one. That's just what I'm doing today. Do this at your leisure, whenever this is like coming to that point for you guys. If you're gonna get some dormancy or some frost at some point in the future, think of, think of three months ahead of time. Prior to that three months or, or two months prior, I rec really recommend three months. Decrease that water um, and you guys will be good. So thank you so much for watching this one. We'll see everybody soon, all right? Hit that subscribe button for me, take care. See you guys for uh, the next video.